dear learner already we have designed a two-story building now we are going for analysis for our footing and design so in this lecture i am just going to show you that how we'll design a single footing by using etf result and a excel sheet okay so let's say that is our excel sheet we have a uh, many excel sheet available if you need that excel sheet you may yeah i mean you can visit our website that link given in description we have all types of excel sheet available in our website so i'll use uh, that uh, to excel 12 c12 c11 and c12 that name is single footing for rectangle or single footing uh, sorry single footing a squared and single footing rectangle okay so uh, for that i mean that two that too this is the uh, latest version of our excel before that we have to uh, complete some work in e -tabs. so here our total service load what is the service load total dead load and live load i have created a combination from here here for service load see all dead load and live load are available with scale one so uh, here we can see this is the total load which our foundation will carry now we can uh, use a tricks here uh, to find out our footing approximate footing size okay so how just simply divide your that uh, service load with bearing capacity so how just uh, go here add a new combo so from here i will uh, go here for service load and i'll give its name it's fs that means footing size and in a scale factor i'll divide that scale factor with our bearing capacity so for that uh, design my bearing capacity is 2 ksf okay and see here our value is in keep so your bearing capacity should be converted in same unit given here so i'm dividing that with 2 so here 0 0.5 then i'll click ok and i'll click ok and go here for support and uh, here putting size and fz then apply okay see here we are getting our approximate footing size now we'll create group how we'll create group the footing are almost same size are almost similar or footing size are almost similar i'll take them in one category like uh here 25 on and here 27 on and 25 and 27 so for that three category for that four footing i'll take that footing uh as a let's say um, if i consider five feet uh 5.5 feet into 5.5 feet that will be 30.25 okay so uh for that for this four footing will be five feet into five feet so i'll go to our autocad uh layout and here mm -hmm let's create another layer if you also want to know autocad go to our website this course is absolutely free for you and uh, learn autocad professionally so click here to add new give its name footing footing and give here the color so i'll give this color is let's say this color no problem and uh, okay and or, 3 mm 0.3 mm okay then close it now from here select the layer for footing and take a rectangle 5.5 feet give it feet sign then press tab then 5.5 feet feet sign modular sign then okay just simply click here Control C. Uh, take it from its center and place it in the uh, center of grid. So here one and here another one. Done. Clear. So uh, first of all, uh, we have created our putting size one so i'll give its name control c control v paste it here 
and give it its name f1 so footing one or uh, if you want to provide a specific name sf1 single footing one okay done so s control co copy then take copy it with the reference paste it here paste it here and paste it here done so in this way we have to create all of our uh footing section and footing layout here so uh first of all i'll do it and then i'll go for design see here i have completed my layout for that building i mean footing layout for that building so now i will design all of the footing to show you how we can design a single footing very quickly okay so to design that footing i will uh, go here i will open a c10 for a square footing design see here a very easy excel sheet okay and uh, if you need any tutorials or any excel anything just simply visit here kilonefe.com then for bangla tutorial here and for english tutorial here uh, so uh, now first of all we have to provide the two value so what is the f prime c the prime c for my case is 2800 okay fy is 72500 psi okay then dead load and live load okay before that i'll provide here our bearing capacity in ksf so our bearing capacity is 2 ksf you know and uh depth of footing base from ezl now they have uh, important things so i'll discuss about that in later and here i'll provide the footing size i'll just go here and for which one i'm going to design let's say uh mm -hmm. go to autocad here and let's select 6.5 and 6.5 okay for that s4 okay for that s sf4 they have sf4 one and sf4 two so from uh to which one i'll carry actually so i'll carry the which on are carrying maximum load so i'll go here and its size is 42 and its size is 38 so i will consider for that one because if uh we see that our footing are passing for that uh um, column so that one will be easily passed because its load is less than that okay so <clears throat> i'll go here now i'll go to here the service load here is our service load okay so what is our service load 84 point i mean total dead load plus live load is 84 point two for something and for that one what is where is our column here is our column the right click here and i will check for our uh, column size our column size is 10 into 12 okay 10 into 12 so i'll go here i will provide our column sizes c here c on and c2 so our column size is one will be 10 and another will be 10 uh, one will be 10 sorry one will one will be 10 and another will be 12 okay fine now uh our average unit weight for concrete and soil it's uh, almost 100 125 is it's okay and the main bar will use i will use 12 mm because uh, here our main bar is uh, i mean our building is very low i'm mean, only two street building so i'll not go for 16 mm river and here uh i'll come with it later now uh, here i'll provide our dead load and live load okay so what is our dead load and live loads first of all i'll go to our retabs and uh here we can see our total load is 100 uh sorry 84 point let's say 85 take calculator 85 85 and now i'll go for our total dead load so here our uh, dead load i'll click apply sorry i'll click apply our dead load is 
59.58 so 60 let's say 60 so our total dead load will be 60 now what will be our live load i'll go to excel here minus 60 so dead load will be 25 okay uh, dead load will be 25 let's say 30 30 uh, so this is the value we need or already we have provided now we have to go for our next step so what is the next step now we'll see here everything are under satisfy i mean punching share check and on a beam share check both are uh, satisfying so now what we'll do i will uh, mm, our footing size is okay and our bottom clear cover it's three inch for footing it's always three inch we have to consider it now uh distributed what is the dist uh, distributed bar uh sorry we have provided main bar and distributed bar now we have to provide the trial effective thickness so what is the effective thickness actually the effective uh, depth d okay so let's say if i provide 10 inch and we are seeing that uh it's satisfying so if we and if we provide 10 inch we can see our total thickness t will be uh, 13.5 inch so if i go for let's say 8 inch Mm -hmm. so for 18s our uh, punching share check is not satisfying but for on uh, os share it's satisfying but uh, we have to change many things here so for 18s when we have taken 18s now we can see that our approximate uh, l and b length and width length and width are 6.7 6.7 okay so when our approximate uh, value is uh, 6.7 so we have to provide 6.75 uh, so Six point seven five. Okay, so for six point seven five, we can see our uh, section are not passing. So I'll go here for okay eight point five. So for eight point five, also it's not passing. So I'll go for nine point five. When we have taken nine point five, it's satisfying. Okay, and we can see our approximate l uh, length and okay i will not provide any excess load here also i'll take 2.5 see for 2.5 it's 6 point 20 sorry uh, for 25 it's uh, 6.5 so i'll take our size 6.5 and 6.5 done okay so uh, i think for uh, i'm seeing for 6.5 uh, and for 9.5 everything is satisfying now i can go for some lower uh, thickness so for 12.5 uh, inch thickness it's also passing now again i'll go for uh, 8.5 let's say it's also passing uh okay so uh, if we consider 12 inch thickness footing so it's also passing but uh, i'll not as it is a local work and the only the uh, local worker will handle that no invisible engineer will be available here so he can inst uh, inspect that situation so what i'll do i'll just go for 9.5 okay 13 inch or i'll go for 10.5 for sorry 10 point yeah, 10.5 or 14 inch thickness okay so uh this is our uh, total situation and we can see that um, our total uh, for 14 inch thickness everything is okay and now i'll um, go for a reinforcement so value are same as here we have to provide here okay so when our uh, when we are using a square footing then we have to take that value 6.5 6.5 on so same both same value will be here okay so and for if you are using rectangular then uh, a length l length and l should be different no problem so here also this value of a will be same as that value so i'll provide a 0. Point, uh, 0. Point four eight okay so uh 0 0.48 and 0 0.48 same now i will i will go for mm, i will go for lower value like uh sorry 0 0.48 same value for 42 so it's 0 0.4843 just i will i'll just put it 0 0.48 or three so both are same both are same so when both are same that means 
our uh, design is okay everything is satisfying our uh, approximate value of a is also same this all are same now this is your detailing clear so 14 inch and if we uh, consider a 12 mm bar so our uh, shorter and um, i mean both direction uh, length reinforcement will be for 12 mm at the rate of x in center to center distance that's it so this is the way to design a uh, foundation very quickly so thank you thank you very much and if you need more uh, things just uh, search on google by writing qlearnify or visit here here a link everything is given here and also uh, tutorial link are given here so thank you thank you very much